Hello, hello, hello to all of my boss buddies. I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. I hope you are well. Listen, y'all, I am in my design room. And guys, as you can see by this table, it is getting back junky in here. I need y'all to help me clean up. But see, what y'all doing now is watching me clean up. I need y'all to help me clean up. So look, y'all, we're going to clean up this junky room. Well, it's not junky. It's gotten a little messy. Okay, y'all know we clean. I cleaned it the other day. Um, on the video, let you guys see how I have organized everything. Well, I have been working so diligently, you guys. Um, getting things prepared for Mother's Day. So things have been getting a little bit out of whack. My plan was each night to clean up after I finish working. I did get some uh, quite a few orders today. Those of you that follow me know that I do not do orders, um, especially around holidays. I will do like special orders, you know, just at random time of the year. But when it comes to like holidays and stuff like that, I do not do orders because I sell so many baskets on the streets that I don't have time to um, do custom orders. Okay. And let me, let me stick a point right there. Y'all guys continue to listen while I'm looking for a bag for my trash. Um, that's something I need y'all to remind me to get while I be doing all this shopping. I be forgetting to get that trash bag. I mean, a trash can to go in my craft room. But, um, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys, those of you that are new following me or those of you that are new to gift basket designing, um, if you are the type of person to take orders, orders is going to um, slow you down tremendously. Okay. I'm telling you guys, it's going to slow you down tremendously. Your best hustle is going to be to just make random gift baskets and have people to buy them. And the reason being is because when you get into doing orders, people are very, very picky. Most of them. And, um, you're going to have to go out and look and search for all of these specific items where if you just kind of build from your stockpile or build from the items that you go and purchase from the store, you know, if you just go buy up a whole lot of stuff and you, um, you know, have it to make your gift baskets, then you can make it according to your own free will. But for people that, um, for people that, um, want special orders you then have to go out to certain stores and look and it's just too too time consuming so what it does is it, it starts to take away from the time when you could probably have put in, put together at least five or ten other gift baskets you still working on that same one so that's something you might want to keep in mind for those of you that are new and even if you're not new you could have been doing it for a while and that was something that you really hadn't given thought and attention to I do not spend a lot of time um, doing custom orders because, like I said, I make too many gift baskets to be um, catering to one gift basket. And I know you probably say, some people may say, well, if it's your customer, you need to give them what they want. And true indeed, like I said, if it's a random holiday, so be it. But if it's a holiday where I'm in high demand, I'm not going to waste my time making 50 75 or even a hundred dollars when i can make thousands in the time that i'm catering to one person you see what i'm saying so make sure that you keep those things in mind here is some plastic y'all like if i mess up a piece of plastic or something i always keep it because this right here will then if i can't reuse it in a smaller gift then i just use it as filling for another um another basket that I'm going to do. I recycle everything, y'all. I mean, it's clean paper. It's new paper, so it's not hurting anything. I very rarely throw anything away. I keep the little small leaves that come off the flowers because sometimes I add leaves into some of my arrangements. And we've already got these prep right here. But what I was saying was that I did get an order today from a church. But I did let, um, you know, I did let her know that I don't, um, you know, cater to orders. 
during times like this and say, but I do have, you know, small gifts that you can choose from. And she agreed and said that, you know, she didn't matter. It didn't matter as long as it was 25 gifts and she just trust, trust, trusted my judgment. So that's what we're going to be working on tonight. Getting those 25 out of the way. So that, and I'm going to look at that as if it's just some gift baskets that I'm randomly doing. Okay. Because if I look at it as if it's an order, it's going to get me a little sidetracked. And then I'm going to get to thinking about how many um, other baskets I could have made in that time. But being um, that I'm going to look upon it as these are baskets that I was going to go ahead and make. And I was going to be selling to random people anyway. So instead of selling them to 25 random people, it's going to be sold to one person. Okay, so I can dig that. And my goal is to have all 25 of those done by tomorrow i actually can have them done tonight if i have enough supplies i did go out today and buy some more supplies and in reality i probably didn't need to buy anything but i kind of since it's for a church kind of want everything to be basically about the same so that you know some people don't be like well why did she get that and why didn't i get that so, they're not going to probably all be just alike, but they're going to kind of be all in the same family. We're going to keep it in the same family. So, some things I want to keep on the table because I'm actually going to be working on those tonight. So, it's not going to be clean, clean around here, but it is going to be a little bit more organized than what I got going on. And this is that crappy tape that I was using last night. So, I did go and buy me some more tape today. In all honesty, that's all who that I was supposed to be going to buy with some tape. Y'all know how you do when you go to the store and you got by supposed to be buying one thing and you were like, I'm not gonna get no card, I'm just getting one thing, and that one thing turned into 55 other different things. Yeah, that's that's what happened to me today. So all of this ribbon, I'm actually gonna leave this on the table because this is ribbon that I will be working with shortly. Yeah, I just need some more room. I'm just asking God to go ahead and bless me with my mansion so that I can have a work studio in the house as well as my brick and mortar business. So, I'm going to keep y'all informed when that happens because I know it won't be long from now. I got stuff all back here on the floor, y'all. Let me know in the comments below how y'all craft room is looking. Are you keeping it organized? If you're keeping it organized, what is your system? Are you cleaning up every night like I said I was going to do? Or are you waiting until like the end of the week? Or, you know, do you clean up after each gift basket? Let me know in the comments below how you keep things going. These ones over here are actually some that I started working on. Last night, it really don't look like I'm doing too much cleaning. Look like I'm just moving stuff from one place to the other, and pretty much that's 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 basically all I'm doing. But like I said, trying to get a little bit more organized so I can see what I have and don't have. I may have to do another. Um, Bath and Body Works haul. We'll see. My Bath and Body Works is getting a little low. I was like, is somebody still on my Bath and Body Works? So what's going on now? Because I know I have made baskets with it, but I didn't realize I had made that many. Y'all look at these little ones I'm working on. They aren't finished, but I actually started laying the foundation for them last night. I started on these gonna work on these these are probably some gonna be some of the ones that i use um for the church yep so guys y'all stay tuned we are getting ready to get in the design room but the things that i got y'all let me show y'all while we're in here cleaning let me show y'all some of the things that i bought today and we can actually go ahead and put those up 
Or we can see these on the table because we're going to be actually using these. These are some more of the big mouth mugs that I bought, y'all. And look, I got a few more of the pink and white ones like this. But I didn't bought all of them. I need to go find another store that has those pink and white ones because they are amazing. It was a couple of them in there that was cracked and it wasn't no need for me to buy those. Look, they didn't wrap them up in newspaper. All I got to do is take them off and stick them right on in the cook. Thank you, sweetie, for the free newspaper. Which my newspaper is free anyway. The young lady that I get it from, she delivers newspapers and um, she brings me her um, papers that she don't deliver. I got me some styrofoam blocks, y'all. For these are these are the little pots I'm gonna use to do my cake pots in. So I bought a few of those, and I also have a couple of uh, flower rings that I'm gonna try to do. We're gonna see how that works out, y'all. I need some helping hands, guys. Some helping hands. So here's some more styrofoam blocks. I got a lot of them. Because y'all, when Valentine's Day came and we was throwing these cake pops together so, so fast, them bouquets, I kept running out of styrofoam because I didn't tell y'all I got a bad habit of going to the store not getting what I need. So I had all of these cake pops and didn't have ran out of these styrofoam blocks. So it only take one block per flower pot and it's four in each one of these. And I really should have got some more, but I didn't. I still did better than I normally do. I got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we're going to put these over here on the shelf. And what I'm going to do is try to get maybe one of my children or somebody that can go ahead and put the styrofoam in the little pots. And that'll go ahead and give me a, you know, give me a head start. Guys, I got these right here. When I tell you the packages are amazing. These came from Dollar Tree, of course. This is, is this Boleros? Yeah, this is the Bolero. Um, everybody loves Bolero when it comes to Dollar Tree. These colors, y'all, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to use these colors, guys. I love colors. I'm sure by now y'all can see that I'm a woman of color. I love bright, beautiful, lively colors, although my favorite color is brown. But I absolutely love all other colors as well. I, I hate to even say I have a favorite color, which brown is a favorite color of mine, but I love to wear colors. I love to buy colors, all of this. I got the pink ones as well. And I think I got enough for three of these. And I think three of the green ones as well. So I'm going to make them into like a three-piece set. But y'all, they had so many different pieces to this. It depends on how big you want your basket to get. But I use these items in some of my lower end baskets. So I don't want to get into buying too, too many pieces because this is already a $3.75 investment. So Y'all know how I like to shop, and you know how I like to make my profit, so I didn't go overboard. I picked up a few of these flowers, although I do not necessarily like to buy Dollar Tree flowers for my projects. I will use these as, like, you know, little additives to go into my baskets or whatever. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I was so super excited. I found some more prayer cards, y'all. Although I did not find them in the colorful um, little packages like I normally did, this green was freaking amazing. I love green, too. So I got these, and I'm going to actually incorporate these, I think, maybe. I say that, but sometimes when I get designed and I change stuff up. But um, I want to add this with this. I think it's going to be cute. And then I have some mints that I want to add some chocolate mints and the packages will blend in with this. I want to add that. When I be in a store, I be mapping stuff out in my head. But like I said, when I get home sometimes, I don't do it. I picked up some more socks. And I think I'm actually going to keep these. Y'all, my daughter has gotten me addicted to socks. My daughter collects socks. She collects mugs. She has gotten me addicted to socks. Every time I I can't I got so many socks in my drawer, I can't even close the drawer. But I think I'm going to keep these and give them to my mother 
mother in love for Valentine not Valentine's. Y'all, I make so much money for Valentine's Day. Y'all may think that I be lying. Why? I, that is why I say Valentine's Day all the time. Because I am stuck in Valentine's Day. But I'm going to see, baby, can I fill my bag for Mother's Day the same way that I do. Now, I make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for Mother's Day. But I'm going to try my best to get on up there with the riches like I do for Valentine's Day. We're going to see. I ain't going to be able to keep making these videos, though. That's what's stopping me. <laughs> I'm just messing, y'all. I love y'all. I did not want to get these from the doggone Dollar Tree, y'all. Because they sell these at other stores as well. If you have a Roses near you or where else is... Oh, Dollar General sells these. I was actually looking for the pink ones because I wanted to add those in some of my baskets. But I could not find any pink ones. So, I just got picked up on some blue ones. And then I didn't buy the soaps from Dollar Tree because I actually go to Roses or I go to other stores where I can get four bar bars for three seventy nine. I'm not paying five dollars for four bars and I can get it for three seventy nine. So make sure you check other stores as well. And I got this, and I actually got. I'm just sitting here looking at how this right here coordinates together. I might put this together with that instead of with my dove. We'll see. But I have some bath beads to go with that, y'all. I'm not going to go in there and find it. I'm getting ready to end this video because it's 20 minutes long and I didn't intend to it. So, y'all, see you in a little while while we design. Okay? Love you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe.